2021. Wow! This was literally the best year ever, as far as I know. I have a lot to say, so keep your eyes and ears out. I don't even know where to begin on what made this year amazing. Let's start with January. This year was kicked off with me and Julian getting some pizza as Sal's. A good start. On the 2nd, I did a 7 mile walk north, by myself. On the 3rd, I did some singing to hope COVID would end soon. On the 4th, I had a nice lunch. Then a bunch of normal day. One issue this month was the sink breaking down, making me and my family have to hand wash, the dishes. Not only that, but we had to use the bathroom sink instead of the kitchen sink. It really sucked. You can check out my January 13th to 15th rant to find more details out. However, the weekend got better. On the 16th, I took my dog to the beach. On the 17th, I went for a walk. On the 18th, I hung out with Julian and then the sink got fixed. All the dates were better from there, especially the 22nd because we had a little Zoom meeting to get together, and the 28th because that was when I got my new computer to replace my very old one. End of January. Next is February. On the 1st and 2nd, it was a big snowstorm. On the 6th, I went for a walk with Julian once again. On the 10th, my school started letting me leave the campus following February break onwards. Then we had February break which had me do a lot of walking. The only issues that arose were the snow that prevented from getting lunch. But on the 25th, things got a boatload better because that was when I started leaving the campus during lunch. A few more days and then February closed, let's move on to March. This month paved the way to the amazing summer and fall months later in the year. On the first, one of my friends and I walked together and the others walked slower than us, making us have a private talk. On the third, I had a peaceful bike ride to my deli. The second week was the best week of that month. On the eighth, I went to my local deli a little earlier than everyone else during lunch. On the ninth, I had a fun scavenger hunt in Spanish class. On the tenth, I made my own scavenger hunt in Spanish class. On the 11th, I went out to lunch again, and on the 12th, it was a warm day and Julian and I went for a nice walk. The third week was a fine week. Later, on the 21st, I did a 10-mile walk. On the 23rd, it was a nice lunch. On the 26th, we had the awards assembly and I got an award for Spanish. On the 27th, I did a 20-mile walk around my house. 10 miles up, and then 10 miles down. On the 29th, I got my first COVID vaccine. What a great month March was. I don't have a lot to say about April, except the 19th was when I got my second dose, and then a week later, I got fully vaccinated which resulted in most of COVID restrictions getting lifted. With the exception of two days, May got a lot better. The only bad days were May 6th and May 14th. May 6th was when I got ignored at school too much. I felt let out. And on May 14th, the dating and kissing rumors went on and on and on so much that I had to email my teachers about it, and attend school remotely the following Monday and Tuesday. You can watch my rant on May 14th to find more details. Now let's look at the positive parts of May. On the 1st, I hung out with Julian for the first time without a mask. On the 3rd, I did a lot of nice driving. On the 5th, it was my Spanish teacher's birthday and we all had a blast. On the 9th, I drove my mum for Mother's Day. On the 15th, I watched Sponge Out of Water with Julian and then went for a walk. Way to cheer me up from May 14th. On May 28th, I had the house to myself for 5 hours. On May 29th, I went up for a vacation and everything went back to their pre-COVID times. The bus is back, no masks, no social distancing, and porch lunches. Everything continued on the 30th. We went back home on the 31st, and I ended the month and weekend with some ice cream, now June. This month was a little rough on a few days, but other than that pretty good. The issues were on the 15th and 28th. The 15th was when my dog nearly bit me because he didn't want to go for a walk, and the 28th was when we started our vacation only to realize nothing opens until the Wednesday after. Some of the good days were the 12th 
when I went to a lacrosse game with no mask or social distancing, and the 17th which was just a day off from school to do to a final that I didn't take, and the 26th which was when I went to an amusement park for the first time since pre-COVID. After that, July. July was a great month because it was like COVID wasn't even a thing. No masks, no social distancing, in-person lunches, and the bus driver didn't even care if we weren't wearing masks. The only issue that happened late in the month was when I failed to sleep due to my brother's loud games, a storm, and the hot weather. The days got better a few after. And then that's it for July, and here's August. Quite a great month. I did a lot of walking on the 2nd and 3rd. On the 4th, my brothers and I went to American Dream for a sons only, no parents allowed field trip. We went to DreamWorks Water Park, and we went on so many slides with very, very short lines. As a result, time went by incredibly slowly. A bunch of normal days, including the 15th with a 20-mile morning walk. On the 18th, we went away to drop my brother off to college. The only problem was with all the crimes which prevented me from being able to do my walks by myself. Things got better on the 21st with a nice mountain climb, some shopping, and then some door dash. On the 23rd, we got my brother settled in before we went home that night. Starting the 24th, I was the oldest son of the family inside the house. Without him, I get to be the one in charge. And no more roughhousing, since my brothers can only do it together. Take away one, and it just can't happen. Also on the 24th, I got home very late. I was taking the plane home all night and couldn't sleep on it. We landed at 7 a.m., then we went home and I needed some sleep. I showered down, brushed my teeth, took a melatonin, and took a nap. I slept from 8 o'clock a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. At that time, it was time to get back to my normal life. I went to my deli, as well as swimming. Then the following day, the 25th, Julian and I went to Dave and Buster's. I won a lot of prizes. On the 28th, I did some walking and saw some friends. I saw some more friends on the 31st. That ends the awesome month of August, now September. This month was the second best of this year. On the 3rd, Julian and I went for pizza again. On the 4th, I did some walking. On the 6th and 7th, more walking. On the 8th, I bought a Nintendo Switch for the family. On the 10th, I did even more walking. 11th, 20 miles of walking. The 12th was probably the second best day of this month because I unexpectedly was able to go to American Dream again. This time, I went to Nickelodeon Universe. I enjoyed riding all the rides, especially the TMNT Shell Razor that drops you more than 90 degrees. And then on the 13th, school started and I got to see all my teachers. More days with no issues at school. No issues at all this month. The 24th was an amazing day because I went to a football game and saw a boatload of friends and have a cruise load of pictures. It was the time of my life. On the 29th, I went for a nature walk during my free period and signed up for the awards assembly club. There ends September. October was also amazing, despite the second. The second was when I got embarrassed at the football game. You can watch my rant on that day to learn more. Anyway, on the 6th, I got a nice haircut. On the 9th, I went up for a vacation with a ton of beautiful trees. On the 15th, I went to a field hockey game to redo my bad day, and it was much, and I mean much, better. I ended that day with some McDonald's. On the 16th, I did a lot of walking with Julian. During that third week of October, my dog did not refuse me at all, and really wanted to go out at all week long. Then on the 28th, my parents went to my brother's college for parents weekend. My younger brother and I stayed home all weekend with no babysitter. We stayed up very late, had McDonald's, and kept our PJs on all day, especially on Saturday when it was raining so much. On the 31st, I did a little walking and then got trick or treaters. So yeah, other than the 2nd, October was quite a great month. Let's now move on to November. November was literally the best month ever. On the 2nd, Julian and I went for a long walk and went over a highway for the first time. On the 3rd, 
I went to the wrestling room during Spanish class. It was like P.E. in Spanish. On the 4th, I auditioned for the awards assembly. On the 5th, I went to another football game. On the 6th, I went for a walk with a lot of beautiful trees seen. On the 7th, I went for pizza and there was an amazing sunset. The best day ever of the month, and of the year, was November 10th. Here is why November 10th was such an exceptional day. First of all, I was productive during my free. I went to the writing center for some help on my English essay. That then resulted in most of the work done for that essay. Then later I had lunch. I got into an argument at one point, but then I went inside as a result. One of the best parts was when as a result of going inside, I went to the gym to play some pickleball. I played with my two library guys who actually were my original bullies. They're much better now. Glad it's after that stupid year 2018, and pickleball really got my mind off the arguing. Three great classes, which were then followed by a bake sale held by the two girls from my videos. I supported the bake sale and even appeared in a picture a teacher took of me taking an item. As a result of me supporting the bake sale, I was given a free cupcake by them. And finally, to the end this best day, I went to McDonald's for dinner. I even saw a few friends there. The next day, it was Veterans Day, and I went for a 15-mile walk. On the 12th, my teachers all wanted themselves with this animation for the awards assembly. On the 13th, I did some biking. On the 17th, I went to Dunkin' Donuts. On the 18th, I went to McDonald's again. A normal weekend, and then on the 24th, there was a Friendsgiving that I went to. On the 25th, I went northeast for Thanksgiving to see my cousins. We had a family hangout and then I went for a walk. On the 26th, I took the Amtrak train home for the very first time. Another great day this month was the 27th. I went to work out, went to a dinner party, and had some McDonald's for dinner. Speaking of working out, I've been working out twice a week. As a result, my muscles are growing. I'm getting ready to carry heavy stuff when I'm older. Anyway, on the 29th, I went to Chick-fil-A with Julian. And to the end this month, on the 30th, I played some basketball in P.E. It was the best month ever by far. I don't have much to say about December, except I took a Saturday test on the 4th that I signed up for, paid for, and got to completely by myself. It took hours and I got to end it with some McDonald's. And on the 14th and throughout the week, I went to basketball games during lunch and talked on the microphone. And to end this month, I got my booster shot. And that's it for 2021. This year was amazing. Not gonna lie. I am really glad this calendar version is here to stay. All 12 months were amazing. Even better, the worst year was 2018, and due to February and March both beginning on Mondays, and will again 2027, 2018's calendar version we will get leaped over in 2024. Good riddance, here are my days rated in terms of how good or bad they were personally for me. A maroon day, like on January 13th and May 14th, means it was really really bad. A red day, like June 15th and 28th, means it was bad. An orange day, such as May 6th or June 2nd, means not so good. A yellow day, such as August 6th, 18th, or 20th means neutral. A chartreuse day, such as those in February, March, and April, means mostly good. A green day, like the ones in April, mean good. A dark green day, like those in September, mean especially good, and finally, a darkest green day, like those in November, mean that is one of the best days ever. To sum up, 2021 was just the best year ever. I have a good feeling 2022 is going to just as great, but only time will tell. As they say, let the past go, leave the future unknown, and live in the present. Anyway, 2021 rocks so much, and so do 2014. 2019, and 2013. 2017 was good enough. 2015 is okay. 2016 was mediocre to me. 2020 sucks. And so did my annoying and troublesome childhood, but 2018 was the worst of them all. End of salute.